here at Mobile World Congress. And how are you? Christian Flowers. I'm from the Moto Mods ecosystem team here with Moto Lenovo. And here to talk about today our Transform the Smartphone Challenge. This is our Indiegogo campaign where we're starting to see some crowdfunded ideas come to life. Some interesting things like here we have a uh, portable charger, wireless charging with battery, and the so, note button. Yeah. So uh, that, that's a supercharge your smartphone, advanced notifications, and wireless charge that has notifications. So it's actually got an LED ring around the edge. So nice. you can have your phone sitting on your desk and it lights up, uh, presumably different colors, different patterns, so you can understand what's going on without having to reach forward and touch your phone. That's cool. One of the more interesting ones I like is the Braille Moto Mod. So it actually physically raises bumps so that uh, a blind person can interact with their device and read you know, through that common Braille interface that they're used to. We've got the walkie-talkie mod. So if you're camping or out and about with no cell signal, you can actually still communicate with your friends. It's also that GPS. Talking about gamepad. So you had lots of submissions. Lots of submissions. We had 700 separate submissions. So far, 31 of those campaigns are live. So take a look, vote with your wallet. The top crowdfunding entries we're gonna bring into a shark tank. And we're gonna help bring those to reality. Nice. So then there's all these ideas people have. And the ultimate Moto Z mod with wireless charging. A uh, whole bunch of ideas. Blazing fast and accurate mobile keyboard. keyboard. Oh, that looks interesting. So who are all these guys doing these things? All sorts. Um, some of them are small people in their garage. Some of these are small companies. Some of these are large companies. So we're actually seeing a variety of people begin to develop Moto Mods. And there they have a really interesting uh, concepts going on. Uh, you enabling potentially crazy innovation. Let's go over there. We have a corner. Uh, Sorry, I used the word crazy, but uh, oh, you, no. you, you're enabling. That's a great word, I think. You're enabling uh, innovation. This is what's possible right now, because uh, not a platform. You can't start moving around with. You're stuck with the hardware that it's shipped with, so no one's gonna put a 10x optical zoom in a phone. It's just too big. Well, you can buy the Hasselblad True Zoom, and now you've added a 10x optical yeah. zoom. And uh, there you're showing that, uh, that you have different stages of um, the development so you can get things done. Yeah, so you, know, you purchase the MDK that's available at developer.motorola.com. I call it the mother of all Moto Mods. This is the same tool we use internally for all of our own prototyping. So it has all of the infrastructure, the Moto Mods connector to connect back to the Moto Z and the magnet so it snaps on just like a Moto Mod does. All your microcontroller, there's actually a battery in here, your flash, your RAM. Easy debug interfaces. You don't need JTAG, just a Type-C cable, Linux, and open source tools. And so since all your infrastructure is in here, you can focus on whatever your idea is. So this, this one is behind all these cables and the battery right here, so you can uh, you can call it fly, fly wire. Yeah, just wires flying around everywhere, soldered to the board. That's your first level prototype that you can done, get done quickly and easily. And oh, at those uh, hackathons, they were actually doing these. That's really what the, the hackathon hackathons. level is, yes. And uh, they had, how many people did you have at your hackathons and where were they? So we had a New York hackathon that had about 90 participants. And in 25 hours of development, they were able to complete 16 successful projects. Functional, hardware, firmware, and software. We also did one in San Francisco. I think we had about 85 participants there and came up with 20 separate functional projects. So it was really interesting to see all these ideas. One person did a glucose meter. One did some LED lights that gave you notifications or gave you an equalizer. Uh, uh, a robot that would follow your face around as you moved using the camera on the Moto Z and then the Moto Mod actually drove the motors. So, and uh, this, this looks cool, but I think there's a huge potential in having the back side of your phone do something else. And one way is LED lights. Yeah. Notifications, stuff like that. Real easy to do. 
uh, and then if you use like the standard Android interfaces like Notification Manager, you can see what comes in, create a custom icon, a custom pattern, maybe look at who it's from, and use that to indicate who it is other than a ringtone or a custom sound. Use some pretty lights that you can see from across the room. And uh, there you have a, a, some different uh, demonstrations of uh, things. Precisely. So, of course, you've got the perforated board where you would solder to. This is our hat adapter board. So, if you don't do hardware very well, you can't do a circuit. When you solder, you burn yourself. This is mechanically and electrically compliant with the Raspberry Pi. So, any of those hundreds and hundreds of hats that already exist, you can plug that into the top here, attach that to your development kit, write some firmware, and now without lifting a soldering iron, you have an instant prototype. All right. These are end-to-end -end examples where we provide you the complete schematic electrical, open source firmware and open source software so you can see how a sensor works, how a battery works, or how audio on a display work. And we have other examples posted as well. And uh, right here you have the, the different steps that goes into mass production. Certainly. So you would start with the MDK and your basic prototype. And if you want to do like larger scale dog fooding, 20 to 30 people, you don't want them to knock wires off, you might build a surface mount board, a little sturdier, take it to a slightly larger, wider audience to refine your concept. You can do all of this all on your own. You don't have to contact Motorola, but we'll certainly be there to help answer questions. At this point, when you actually want to build and make your integrated motor mod, you partner with us, and we'll help you bring it to market. And uh, this is the Moto Z area right here. Let's walk around just one second. Uh, because my, my uh, the feeling that I have, uh, I was around some airports like Atlanta or somewhere in the US, and there was advertising for Moto Z everywhere. Like, uh, so if there's advertising everywhere, that means people are buying it, right? It's yes. a successful product. Oh, we're really excited. We're really committed to it. We think it's the best device in the world. And uh, right here, the projector, people love that, right? Oh yeah, this is actually one of my favorites. Uh, I got to work on it personally. Uh, at about five feet away, you get a 70 inch screen. Nice, bright. It works with every app. You don't have to write a custom application. You don't have to change anything to make this work. You get mirroring what's on the screen by default. Something else that's interesting, I can turn off my Android screen the projector keeps going, right? So applications aren't told screen off and they don't shut down. They keep going like they should. Keystone correction, so as you change the angle, you keep a nice square view. And, and you can see there's a kickstand on here. It goes all the way vertical. So you can shoot on the ceiling, lying in bed relaxing. Here you've got your video there. So there you have a nice, super nice projector. I'd like to see uh, something like... Uh, Wait, I can't reach right there, but I'd like to see it uh, reflect down and uh, touch on the table. Sure. But that's if somebody wants to do that, they could suddenly do that. Yeah. They could do, like, uh, they can turn this into a Sony Xperia Touch, the one that they're showing up there with. The whole table is a touch screen, if you want, but you have to just do it, right? You have to probably add a, a couple extra sensors to detect your hand and do that IR, or add a camera potentially, but it's certainly feasible. And uh, let's just walk around here. Uh, this, this is the zoos, uh, which is amazing. We have uh, uh, here are some uh, batteries, right, and a speaker. And what's going on here? Ah, it's just uh, to show. You can have. Oh, this is our car dock. Yeah. So you can see it's got the plug in to your car vent here. Uh, it has a, a nice charging adapter, as well as an aux cable. So you would attach this to your car stereo. If you've got an older car like some of us do, you don't have Bluetooth or something like that, car dock's a great way to charge your device and get audio out into your big car stereo. And uh, you've announced uh, internally at Motorola, you're gonna definitely launch a whole bunch of these motor mods. You've, uh, yep. you've said how many? Um, gonna come. There was an announcement, I think, right? There was a uh, we're shooting for uh, more than 10 a year. More than 10 years. So that means you have internal teams making these also? Yes, we do. Is there any chance we can uh, maybe chat with uh, your guy over there? Let's check uh, one second. Right here. Hey, sorry. Okay, okay, he's back. Okay, so yeah, so you have uh, teams working on potentially some awesome motor mods. 
course. To demonstrate what's possible. But you'd like to have the whole ecosystem do them, right? Oh, we, we want to encourage both. So, you know, the ecosystem is starting to evolve with our hackathons and with the Indiegogo campaign. We're really starting to get some traction. Um, but there are definitely some difficult things that we really want to do ourselves to show the full capabilities of the platform. Do you want to encourage other manufacturers to use Monomots too? Uh, oh, sure. Oh, oh. I mean, like, uh, Launch nope. phones. No, I right. I went to the Alcatel booth, and they're trying. It looks like they're doing something similar, but it, they only have an LED back, and uh, that's it. Yeah. And uh, a speaker. They also have a speaker. Um, you know, the Moto Mods and our Moto Mods connector are exclusive to the Moto Z's family of devices. Uh, to my no. knowledge, there's no plan of expanding that outside. Right. So I'd like to see an e-ink back case. That'd be so nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. And uh, and a few more killer mods and uh, grow your market share. Yeah, uh, I've definitely seen on Indiegogo, apparently the campaigns aren't launched, but I've seen the full list of submissions and several of those were e-ink. So hopefully we'll get that to market for you soon. Can you push to all the Moto Z owners, can you put a notification to them uh, that says, hey, check out the Indiegogo? Um, or you're not allowed to do that, I guess. It's privacy or something. Yeah, but if yeah. you have some kind of thing, it'd be nice to let everybody know, hey, by the way, you know, there's a whole bunch of projects. If, if you know, users who have given us permission and said, yes, I want communications from Motorola, we can certainly give them emails, but we wouldn't push to your device, no. Okay.